Hello, and thank you for taking the time to watch this brief information video on the Surgical Technology Program offered at Pima Community College. The Surgical Technology Program is led by Program Director Bernalisa Gonzalez, whose email is listed here on your screen. Program advising for surgical technology is provided by Sylvia Lucino Romero, whose name is also listed here at the bottom of your screen. What does a surgical technologist do? Surgical technologists prepare operating rooms and are experts in sterile technique. Surgical technologists are experts in the theory and application of the principles of asepsis, are able to combine knowledge of human anatomy, surgical procedures, implementation of tools and technologies to facilitate a physician's performance of surgical procedures. Surgical technologists are an integral part of the support team as professionals and are very detail-oriented, honest, strong communicators, strong listeners, and typically very resilient. The national average salary is $53,500, and the Arizona average salary is close at $52,500 per year. The program length, once a student has gained admission and has been accepted into the surgical tech pro program, is approximately two years, two fall semesters, and two spring semesters. The classes are taken by students by cohort and must be taken in the order listed here on your screen, but this only applies to the SGT surgical tech core program classes. The additional general education courses, and you can see a list here towards the bottom of the screen with asterisks, these are general education courses that be, can be completed at any time, um, but must be completed in addition to the SGT Surgical Tech Core courses in order to graduate successfully with the Associate of Applied Science and Surgical Technology. You can work with your program advisor to design a program of study schedule and a degree planner so that you can figure out how to incorporate the program and all the general education requirements into your weekly schedule. The cost of the program primarily varies by student due to tuition costs. If a student is an in-state versus out-of-state uh, student, there will be a difference in tuition costs. There are additional fees, and you can find information on tuition and costs by using the breadcrumb trail located here on your screen. Some of the additional fees are course fees that include the $1,717 Certified Surgical Technologist exam fee. This exam is taken by a student during their last semester of the surgical tech program. Textbooks also have a cost and vary by course. The program is financial aid eligible and more information on financial aid and the process to apply for financial aid funds can be found by using this breadcrumb trail at the bottom of your screen. It's important to know how to apply and what is required for your application. In order to request a surgical tech program application, a student must have a reading acuplacer score they must watch this recording of the Surgical Technology Information Session, which you're doing right now, and schedule an individual meeting with the Surgical Tech Program Advisor so that you can obtain the application. The only two courses that need to be finalized with grades of C or higher are listed here on this screen. Biology 1 IN or Biology 201 IH with grades of C or higher, Biology 202 with the final grade of C or higher. Again, only 201IN or 201IH with a grade of C or higher, as well as Bio 202 with the final grade of C or higher. The admissions process includes the application window, which opens February 1st each spring.
and closes June 1st. You do want to make sure that you get your application, your complete application um, submitted before midnight on July, on June 1st. Um, and mid before midnight, I should say before 11.55 or by 11.55 p.m. June 1st. The application evaluation process begins June 2nd. Selected applicants are notified in July. Prior to starting the surgical tech program in the fall semester, selected applicants will attend a mandatory program orientation. During the orientation, students will learn more about additional requirements, including vaccinations, health insurance, student expectations, clinical scheduling, etc. Selective admissions forms with student signatures will be collected during that mandatory program orientation so that students' programs of studies may be officially updated to surgical technology. If you're ready to get started, here are your next steps. Number one, make sure you've completed your assessments in reading, writing, and math. If you already have a four-year university, university degree, please send your official transcripts to registrar at pima.edu. If you're still not quite sure what to do next, please continue to listen. If you are a new student, meaning you have no prior college credit, you want to meet your enrollment advisor. Your enrollment advisor can help you with admissions into Pima College. They can help you with any questions on your new student checklist. They can also help you understand which placement tests to take and how to take them and are happy to help you enroll in your first semester of classes. You can access your enrollment advisor's scheduling calendar if you have declared surgical technology as the program that you're interested in. You can follow the breadcrumb trail here once logged in to your MyPima account. Or if you do not yet have access to MyPima but you would like more information, you can reach out to Daniela Constantino if your last name starts between the letters of A and L. Her email is listed here. If your last name starts between letters M through Z, please reach out to Deanne Booker, whose email is listed here in blue at the bottom of your screen. Daniela and Deanne will be happy to help you understand the process to make sure you're taking the correct placement tests and then getting connected to your program advisor. If you're a continuing or transfer student, you want to directly contact your program advisor. If you have transfer courses, but maybe they haven't been sent to Pima yet, do make sure to send those official transcripts to registrar at pima.edu. And please understand that transcripts must be fully evaluated by the Pima College Registrar's Office before courses or credits can be transferred in and noted on a student's Pima College um, transcript. Your Program Advisor can also help you with other services like your degree plan, which will help you plan all your required courses, which will enable you to register early for classes and check out support resources and also review any admission steps needed for the surgical tech program. If you've declared the surgical tech program as the program you're interested in, you may be able to find your program advisor in your MyPima account clicking on students, then academics, then scrolling down a bit and looking for go to Pima Connect. When you click on Pima Connect, you will be able to find your program advisor's appointment calendar link. And you can use that link to schedule an appointment that meets your scheduling needs. If you do not find an appointment that meets your scheduling needs, please email your program advisor directly for help. There are additional opportunities and resources to continue your education, even after you've completed the surgical technology program. Some of those continuing education programs include Northern Arizona University's 9030 programs, which are a really cost-effective way to obtain a bachelor's degree in the future. There are transfer pathways, to our different universities. We also have student resources such as financial aid, counseling, and tutoring. 
if you go to the pima.edu website and then select paying for college, you'll find information regarding financial aid and scholarships. You can find out more information for academic support by going to the pima.edu website, then selecting student resources and choosing from the drop down menu to find out information on tutoring, counseling, as well as other resources. We also work with community partners like Pima County One Stop and JobPath.net who can provide additional financial support for qualifying students. Remember, your program advisor and your academic success counselor are two parts of your success network. You want to reach out to your program advisor and meet with them at least once each semester to make sure you're on track to make any changes that you might need to make. And your academic success counselor, there's one for every division here at Pima College, can also help you with any personal short-term counseling needs and or community resources if you're um, experiencing struggles that might be impacting your ability to stay successful in school. We're here to help you meet your goals. I thank you for your interest in Pima Community College's Surgical Technology Program. I'd like to invite you to reach out regularly and often. And please know that we are here to help you reach your academic and professional goals. That's what we do, and our students are our most important and favorite part of our roles. Thank you very much. Keep striving.